Okay, guys, uh, this video here will be the first Navi hole, Navajo lesson. Okay, as I mentioned before, Navajo is a very, very, very difficult language. It's probably, yeah, it's up there. I would say uh, it may be even more difficult than, yeah, I, I would say it's more difficult than Russian. Um, it's 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 way up there. It's a difficult language. Uh, if you guys haven't if you guys haven't studied Na Native American language, if you want to want to see what I'm talking about, I would suggest you to get some books, some of the books that I recommended, and just uh, you know study it for a couple months and see what I mean. This language is quite difficult. A lot of peculiar peculiarities and whatnot. So um, the grammar is complex. The sounds are hard. It's it's just overall a difficult language. So um, yeah, I would have never started learning Native Americans if it weren't for my um, curiosity, you know. So <clears throat> I said, you know what, I want to try out some Native American languages. People were asking me if I was going to ever, you know, try out those languages. I would, you know, I wasn't sure at the time. So you know what, what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Got the resources and I started on it. Love the language. So this will be at my top priority list to learn. One of my languages I'm going to learn really well. So, okay, so here we go. I'm going to read this, and I'm going to break it down. Now, as usual, this is a lesson video for my own good practice and for any anyone out there who uh, needs help with Navajo, there, you know, this will probably help them. So if you guys are native speakers, I will... I um, just want to tell you that there may be some mistakes here, or no, there are going to be some mistakes, and my pronunciation might not be the best. So, just to let you guys know that. Okay? Alrighty. So, let's do it. Okay, so. Yate shik is, or sik is, e ashki hashwolie, e dinebeza behosh a. Ado shish yate e ashki kleto wul ye kleto e a sahedi nebiza yehush a adok a birande yehush a nahalin la shie ashto kleto birande bohush a nte ado Ado ashte dinebeza ayo nech ayo nechish nam kla nte nde a ayo bewil bewil a la. Okay, I'll read that again. Yat e shik is e ashki hash wol ye e dinebeza behosh a ado shish yat e e ashki kleto wol ye. Kleto eit a sahe dinebiza yehush a adok a berande yehush a nahalin la shie ashto kleto berande bohush a nte ado ashte o ado ashte dinebiza ayo nehish nantla nte nde a ayo bewil a la be, be, will, ah, la. Difficult stuff. I'm still trying to get my pronunciation right with a lot of these words. Very, very difficult. Okay, so, um, so I'll translate. So, yate, shiki, so, how are you? Uh, hello, my friend. E, ashki, hashwol, ye. So, that boy, that boy, what is, what is that boy's name? Hashwol, ye. E, dinebiza, behosh, ah, ado. So he is studying he is studying Navajo and Shishyate uh it's oh yeah I messed up here. It shouldn't be Shishyate, it should be Bish. Uh it should be Bishyate. This right here, not not Shish, but it should be the bit. Cause bit is to him, so it's difficult to him. I will explain that here in a minute. E ashki kleto wul ye. So that boy, his name is his name is Mouse. Kleto eit a sahed dinebiza yehush a 
So that so the mouse he is studying Navajo by itself or independently. Adok a brande, yehosh a. Moreover, now he's studying in his home. Or yehosh a nahalen la. It seems that he's studying in his home now. Shiye ashto shleto brande bohosh a nte. So I also study. I used to study in. I study in this house as well. In shleto in his uh, mouse's house. Navajo. I study in his house as well. I used to a long time ago. Ado ashte dinebiza ayo nehish nakla nte. So, moreover, at first the Navajo language was difficult for us. And, um, it was in the past. Nde ayo be will be 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 will ala. But now it the study where it's our studies are going very well. Okay. So. Um, that's that. Let me see here. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to make two parts. I'm going to stop it here and continue in the next one.